He also has to his credit an album called Kuch Khwab Aise, perfect for the book. He caught the nation's fancy by his no holds barred satires on politicians, sports, and film personalities, and even the underworld as the popular host of the TV program called Movers and Shakers on Sony TV. Currently, he's debuting as a director with his film Heartless, a love story. We wish him the best for that. Today, Mr. Suman, our guest of honor, will read a few excerpts from Harnam Sethi's journey to self-discovery. Welcome, sir. Come on, guys. Well, thank you so much for that wonderful introduction, except the comedian part was not quite correct, but I'll take it with a sense of humor. Um, um, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's such an honor to be here, and thank you so much for inviting me here. I am actually Harnam Sethi with a different name, Shekhar Suman, this evening here. I, I feel that what I've heard and what the excerpts that I have read from the book, that we all have that Harnam Sethi in us, um, in bits and parts. Of course, the effortlessness that you were talking about uh, was a bit ironical because once, once we were in the process of launching the book, that's the first thing that we realized that it took a lot of effort to uh, unveil the <laughs> book. Uh, but yes, we, we all uh, uh, strive towards that eff effortlessness. I think life is all about um, chasing that energy, that thought, that positivity, and I'm so happy and congratulations, Mr. Vasu, for writing such a beautiful book. I, I don't even know who invited me here. I don't even know why I'm here. Um, I, I guess I am here because, um, you know, the positivity of the people who invited me was so much that I couldn't resist and I had to be here. And I realized that once I come here, I'm sitting amidst and amongst such positive people. So thank you so much. Um, it's always a delight uh, to go through anything that is positive and I think we owe a lot and the society owes a lot to uh, especially writers who write such um, beautiful stuff that uh, in a way impacts our life and changes our lives in a very positive way. And uh, I hope, Mr. Vasu, sir, that we um, will be able to take uh, the essence of what you have written and, and assimilate that in, in our lives to make our lives better. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm start, starting off, it might just sound a little random from where I'm beginning because all of you, assuming that who have read the book, probably would be able to connect from where I'm reading. Harnam, as you know, is the protagonist and uh, the novel has, has probably taken shape through his, through his mind and, and through his uh, deeds. <clears throat> Harnam was a happy man as the cab raced downhill towards Gawati. He had never felt so comfortable with himself and his surroundings. His breath was deeper, his body felt lighter, his eyes were luminous, there was a mysterious fragrance all over. The seven days that he was with Selina stood out like an oasis in the desert that life was. The sensation that he experienced during these seven days had a marvelous lingering effect on him. And more than anything else, Herman found these seven days to be a healing experience. He had found the love of his life and his angst was fixed. Thankfully, there were no more concepts about life to struggle with. Everything had fallen in place. The love that he shared with Serena was itself the meaning of life. The meaning of life was not something to be worked out mentally. It was something to be felt in the heart. It seemed that his life had been fragmented once so far and now it had been put together. In meeting Selina, he came face to face with his own magnificence and discovered his own authentic self. After his Gangotri trip, Harnam had concluded that one could not realize one's <coughs> dreams in full. There was bound to be something short. This something short was what life was about. It was all about incompletion. And here in Shillong, that whole concept had been turned on its head. Here was a case of something never dreamt of falling in his lap on its own, like mana from the heavens. The calmness Harnam felt after the Gangodi trip was the calmness of resignation. 
The calmness he felt after the Shillong experience was the calmness of being reborn. Apparently, what he realized after the Gangotri trip and the Shillong experience were two contradictory phenomena. But since one had preceded the other, there was probably a cause link between them. What could be that link and what would Harnam make of this? No, he would not hazard a guess what that link could be. And he would surely not make anything of this for the simple reason that he was now done with the mind games. He had graduated from the world of ideas to the world of feelings. That's so beautifully put. And that was the reason perhaps that he was no longer bothered by his double two, as was the case frequently in the past. With the disappearance of his double, Harnam was now one whole person with one whole mind. What Harnam could not find at Gangotri at a height of 3,100 meters, he had found in Shillong at a height of 1,500 meters, 1,500. He was not sure, but this could well be the turning point of his life. He could feel it in his bones. Was it enlightenment? Actually, it was more than that. What happened to Harnam was not just what happened to Harnam, it happened to Selina as well. Then what happened to him and Selina in a way affected the whole world too. Was he not more loving towards everyone now? He found himself overflowing with love for everyone. He loved the cabbie, he loved Mata Mishri Devi, he loved Panna Lal Maharaj, he loved all the people he had worked with at different times. He loved Mahatme who had saved his life when he was about to kill himself. He loved Ingra who had made him a poet and boosted his ego. And he loved his mother more than ever before. He was now brimming with goodwill for everyone. And what a coincidence that Selina came into Hanan's life precisely at the time she had. He had been tired, he had been tired of studies, he had been tired of work, tired of bad things, tired of good things, tired of having no money in the pocket, tired of having enough money in his pocket. He had been tired of his metaphysical pursuits, he had been tired of Zen Pen, he had been tired of his double and tired of his mind machine that was always chugging away and finally he had been tired of being tired. A round of applause for this line. And finally, he had been tired of being tired. He had been at the end of his tether. And then, just then, out of a clear blue sky, Selina had entered his life like a breath of fresh air. It was only when Selina came into his life that he realized he was primarily a loving being. She was the one who brought home the truth that his essential makeup was love and his true nature was blissful. It was she who awakened in him the spontaneous, joyous, playful, childlike spirit that was lying dormant. His whole perspective about life had changed. He was born anew. The whole world seemed to have opened its mysteries to him. Suddenly, he felt an unusual kind of respect for Selina that verged on devotion. He saw Selina as a goddess of love. As he had these thoughts, he saw her blushing as if she had read his thoughts about her. Thank you. Thank you so much for that absolutely beautiful rendering of those lines, giving them life. I uh, now uh, would like to invite uh, Mr. Suresh Oberoi. He, who is a very well-known actor of Hindi cinema, is remembered and known for his deep voice, fine deliveries, and superb performances. He won the national award for his role of Mukhi in the film called Mirch Masala in the year 1987. He has acted in more than 250 films in a career spanning three decades. But more importantly, today, he is known for his interest in spirituality. 
I am. I have to pause here because I think uh, as performing artists, uh, we from theatre group, from television, from cinema, musicians, poets, writers, authors, all of us are actually in a spiritual field. So to say that he is now come in his field of spirituality would be not such a great statement. So I, I think the root and the seed has always been there. And now he is hosting the show, Awakening with Brahma Kumaris. He believes that happiness is our birthright and we must learn to accept all pain and love with happiness. Sir, before you arrived, I read, I read a very um, short poem by this Argentine poet which said that the words fall, they fall for a purpose. And then we hold them and give them our own fall. So I request you to come here and share a bit about anything you want to share about regarding the book, regarding the life, regarding the spiritual seekers, regarding the, the purpose of life. Thank you. Namaskar. First of all, I didn't know who wrote this about me, what you read, and who, who, who said that I am spiritual now. Everybody is spiritual, we are born spiritual. Who is not spiritual? I said that I had, people have an idea, like when I used to study in uh, the Film Institute in Pune, I used to come to Bombay to see golf courses on the way. I said, when I become a then I will play golf. जब मैं बूढ़ा हो जाऊंगा ना तब मैं स्पिरिचुअल करूंगा सो आई आई यूज्ड टू इन माय आई यूज्ड टू गो एंड अटेंड सम सत्संग्स सो आई यूज्ड टू हाइड आई यूज्ड टू टेल अ लाई आई एम जस्ट गोइंग फॉर टू अ टेंपल आई थॉट इट्स फॉर ओल्ड पीपल एंड व्हाट एम आई डूइंग एंड पीपल सॉ मी देयर एंड से ये तो इसकी तो जिंदगी बर्बाद हो गई ये तो हर ये माला पहन ले ये पहन लिया ये हो गया वो हो गया हर स्पिरिचुअलिटी सो आई थॉट दैट व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ स्पिरिचुअलिटी Spirituality, life, mein, finally, people eyes to think, oh, the books may hai, oh, the falsafa hai, philosophy hai. No, I have done it practically, and I wanted to see how we can do it. I said, okay, people say, keep fast. Aaj main anda nahi khaunga, aaj main mutton ka din nahi, aaj main na makka nahi, aaj mere makka nahi. I said, why not? Why not? I today have say, I will. Whatever happens, I will not get angry today. Let me start that. So I said, okay, we are now controlled by calm, growth, low, bow, and car. Out of that, I'll, I'll take my anger because I used to be angry for, no, angry for no reason. I didn't know. I said, such a big problem. My biggest problem was anger. I said, I don't know why I'm angry, and I, I used to feel guilty after that. I had uh, so many problems. I said, no, let me fight that. So I brought, learned spirituality. I went into the thing and I put it into practice. One day when I was playing golf, I was very angry with myself because I could not hit the ball straight and after 20 minutes I threw my clubs and I was angry and I said, I said, this complicated game. And a little voice from behind says, uncle, I said, yeah, uncle, my dad says, golf is a simple game played by complicated people. <laughs> And I didn't know where to look. I could not practice after that. I didn't, I went on looking at him and he made me think and think and th think. I said, who's complicated? So clarity. So I said, let us have clarity. So I didn't even know who am I. I used to think this is the body. When they said, Array, you have to understand that. I used to think I, Suresh Obrath, operate with a soul. No. I, the soul, coming from so many millions of years and so many births, I, the soul, with this body called Suresh Oberoi. So it's so much of difference. And then when I had a relationship with God, earlier I had a concept of God, an idea, a drop. Oh, ye bhagwan hai, ye moti ko puja kar do. isko phool laga do. Aray, yaar, this fellow will get angry. Okay, isko ek phool aur dal do. Okay, pull comfort gave, okay, I'll break some flies and put da, 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 da. Make, make everybody feel happy. I was so complicated, confused, angry, everything. So there is clarity. So fine. Then then there became a then I said, okay, we come to understand, fine. So I get up as soul, 
with this body and have a bath. So I actually practice every day, I the soul, I the soul. And I finally understood that I the soul I'm getting up, I am the soul having a bath, I the soul having food for this body, I the soul having wearing this for this. And the, the biggest mistake I did was I forgot that the others are also souls. She the soul, he the soul. And everybody has their own sanskaras. Like I was having my problem with, uh, with my anger. Everybody has. So we have to accept a soul. So when, then I learned how to see a person every time you meet as if you meet him the first time. You try home at home tomorrow, today. meet anybody, just meet him or her as you meet for the first time in your life. You don't know anything, any past. So it's, it takes so much of effort in golf to become effortless till you cannot hit hard, you cannot swing, you can't put force, you can't do, it becomes so smooth, so life becomes smooth by understanding spirituality and I'm grateful to uh, Sumanji and I'm grateful to Life Positive that they are going on doing this. I'm sure there's not much money in it, but still, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if I made the wrong statement. <laughs> yeah, Punya. It is the biggest Punya you're doing and also encouraging writers uh, like uh, Sir and uh, Haddam and I'm, if I can be of uh, any kind of help, uh, Subhaji for Life Positive and for your this thing, I'll, I'm always there for you. And I think I should leave the stage because I, what she want, wants to know, it will take a long time to answer. <laughs> and but never forget that we are all spiritual and we were pure and so many, we have acquired so many things which can go. When I can take out things, as a person like me, if I can control, you always think that I am so and so, he is coming in this car, he is Tata, he is Birla, he is so and so, with the address, with the cars, with the owner's ownership. The moment you learn that you are a soul and you're so sure, as sure as you know that I am a man and you will not enter the wrong washroom as sure as that even in the middle of the night and then treat everybody as a soul. So, soul to soul, thank you so much. Last, read this because I think it's beautiful. The lightning flash of beauty creates the eternity in the back of eye. The lightning flash of love creates the eternity in the back of oblivion. The lightning flash of life creates the eternity in the other face of death. The lightning flash of the moment creates the eternity on the other side of time. All light illumines. It may even dazzle. With that, I want to say that uh, personally and on behalf of Life Positive, we're grateful to everyone who is aspiring to illumine, to light, and to dazzle the world. I request Sumaji to give the official vote of thanks. <laughs> Nobody claps for me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasant duty to thank you all. Particularly, I'd like to thank uh, our chief guests, Shekhar uh, Suman and Suresh Obraji for having come from a considerable distance to have been part of this uh, event. So please, once again, give them a huge hand. Thank you, sir, so much for being part of this event. I would like to thank Mr. P.S. Vasu also for having written this lovely book to begin with and then to have joined us for this event. <laughs> Finally, I'd, I'd like to say thank you to Rashi for having spearheaded this uh, event so incredibly in her own unique way. I'd just like to introduce Rashi. Uh, she is a committed and very talented theatre person and heads the Banjara Theatre Group in Mumbai. And she is the recent recipient of the Ustad Bismillah Khan Yuva Puraskar in direction for her play Hiba Kusha 
from the Sangeet Natak Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give her a huge hand. And may I request Mrs. Suresh O'Brien to please give her, to felicitate her with some flowers. Thanks so much, uh, ladies and gentlemen, for being part of this audience. Wish you all a pleasant, beautiful, and positive evening. Thank you. Uh, I'd also like to say that uh, uh, the book signing, if anybody would like to get the book personally signed by the author, will also be happening at the uh, back of the room. So please, please avail of this wonderful opportunity. Thank you.